Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Mackenzie, and this week we're gonna learn the best and most efficient way to create subtitles and closed captions in Premiere Pro. Let's get started. Closed captions and subtitles have recently gotten really relevant with, you know, Facebook video being as big as it is and Twitter and all these different social medias utilizing video. Most people don't actually click on the video to watch and listen to the audio. So you're going to want to put subtitles or closed captions on those videos when you post them to social media. And so we're going to walk through our process on how we create closed captions and subtitles within Premiere Pro. So we're going to jump into our timeline and we're going to get started. And so I have a video here of a testimonial and what I'm wanting to do is to put subtitles or closed captions, whatever you want to call it, into the video. Now, there's a couple ways you can go about doing this, but uh, the way we find easiest is clicking down here when you're in your project folder, clicking down here and going to captions, or you can right click on the, on the folder and go into new items and hit captions. And so what happens is it pops up this screen here where it says standard open caption CEA 608, CEA 708. And so those are more for television. You don't really need to worry about those. The main one that we use is open subtitling and open captions. And so we're gonna hit open captions here. Um, all these look good. You wanna make sure it matches up with your video and you're gonna hit okay. And so what happens is it shows up here in your project folder. And so what you're gonna to wanna to do is drag that into your video where you want closed captions. And so, you know, we want them to start here and finish there. And so now what we're gonna do is we are actually going to um, start figuring out where we want the different caption. And so what you're gonna need next is your transcript. Now there's a couple ways you can go about getting a transcript. You can hire somebody uh, online to do the transcript for you. You can just listen to your edit and write out each individual sentence. But if you don't have time for that, what we actually do if we're under time constraints is we upload the video without captions to YouTube, mark it private and everything. And then we use the subtitling, uh, the automatic subtitling feature and closed captions feature on YouTube and it actually takes care of most of the dialogue now there's some little bits that need retouching and re-editing but uh, for the most part it does a pretty good job so we have all of our transcript right here uh, for James's video and so what we're gonna do is with these sentences we are going to uh, match up the sentences with the time code and the best way we do that is by putting markers on the video and so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna listen to it and put some markers into it and to, the way you put markers in is you highlight your timeline just like this and you press M and what that does is it puts a marker right at that time code spot so we're gonna listen to a little bit of it so those are uh, four different markers that I wanted to put to kind of separate the sentences or some, kind of separate the phrases to make it so that we can so that we can really spread them out. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight my closed captions and I'm going to go to my captions window. The best way you can find this if it doesn't appear is by hitting the captions window right here. And so one thing I'm also going to double check is whether the captions actually show up because uh, what happens is sometimes when you do a new project, the captions don't uh, show up on the video. And so the way you can do that is actually by clicking settings and coming down to closed captions display. And you want to make sure that's checked and hit enabled. And so I am actually just going to delete this caption and I am going to add one right here. And I am going to put the time code, which starts at 12 seconds. 12 seconds there we go alrighty and I'm just gonna start it right there and have it go till there and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight it and I'm gonna listen to the sentence one more time see which one it is all right so one being kind of you know we both learn from the same positive methodology alrighty and I'm gonna just Bring that all up to the first marker here and I'm going to just press command C for copy and command V 
for paste. And I'm just gonna um, split this up a little bit. And so this takes time. I mean, this, this isn't a fast process at all. And so as you can see here, it's up here in the top <laughs> left corner. And so what I want to do is make them center. I want to also enlarge them. Oh, that's way too big. And I also want these to be much wider. So that looks pretty good. It's kind of in front of his face, but when we uh, switch camera angles, it's it's not that bad at all. So you can make adjustments to your captions. If you don't want it to just be the text with no uh, black bar, a lot of people like to add the black bar. Uh, what you can do is you can just hit this button right here and it adds a background color to it. And you can, ass you can uh, assign what that background color is, whether you want it to be black or or white or whatever you want the background color to be, you can assign it using that. And so that's how you use closed captions or subtitles within Premiere Pro. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave a comment down below if you have any questions, leave a like or dislike on this video, and be sure to subscribe. My name is Mackenzie Beebe, and we'll see you guys here next week.